Okay, just a quick video to demonstrate how to hook up a webhook. So I have a new webhook. If I go into uh, settings, webhooks, um, you click, click the plus, but I already have it here. Put my URL. This is just a testing library. Grab a webhook that will receive events. You can see I was testing this. It does seem to work. So you copy your unique URL from webhook.site. Put it here for the events tab. I'm going to enable just one event, which is going to be user.update. And then I'm going to make sure, importantly, that all applications is selected here. This is not what I want. I want all applications. So I've given a URL, I've selected the event, and I've told it all applications. Webhook is set up. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to applications and I'm going to say, well, my application, which is my website, is located in the default tenant. So I'm going to go to the default tenant. I only have one tenant and I'm going to click edit and then I'm going to go into the webhooks tab and I'm going to scroll down to make sure that at the very minimum I have a user.update here. Um, again, these are all in our documentation as to what each one does. Essentially, how strict do you want this to be? A user update is a transactional event. So if it fails, um, it will roll it back. So you could say, I need all my webhooks to succeed. Maybe there's something you do with your accounting system. There's something you do with another system. And a third thing you do with a third system, all of them need to come back. Otherwise, fail the webhook and the user will not be updated. And so I'm having it in the most least strict mode, which is just send me that event on this tenant. But I don't care if it succeeds or not. It's not important to me. So I have it set up there. So I've created a webhook in settings. I've gone into the application, realized I'm on the default tenant, went into the default tenant, edit it, click on the webhooks tab, and I've enabled the webhook for the webhook I want to receive an event on. And to demonstrate this, it's simple a matter of having a user who happens to have applications in my tenant, who lives in my tenant, and say I want to edit the user. You could do this programmatically, of course. For the purposes of the video, I want to show that if I add something, I'm just going to amend the first name to something completely non-realistic. But when I hit save, I would expect that I do get a post event and it will tell me the original value and it will then also tell me the updated value. So where's that? Here's my updated value. So you can see that's how you would hook up a webhook, bare bones, using just manual steps. Hopefully uh, this is helpful.